Hey everybody, welcome back. Just thought I'd bring you a quick update of my do-it-yourself algae scrubber after six days on an 18 hour on, six hour off light cycle. As you can see, or hopefully see, I'm getting some nice diatoms after six days. The light doesn't screw with it too much there. Now diatoms is all I expected. I don't have any stock in my tank yet, I'm just coming out of a cycle. So I don't even have a cleanup crew. So I only expected diatoms, but I really didn't expect this much. Uh, benefit or the positives. It is growing diatoms down in my refugium area of the sump. Down on the bottom glass and on the heater. Some in the corners. However, it is not growing diatoms anywhere else. Stage one is free of diatoms as well as stage three. There's uh, no sign of diatoms in that stage either. As well as up here in my main display. I don't have any diatoms showing up just yet in the main display. Now diatoms is all I can expect probably for the next three weeks or so before I get the green hair algae and green hair algae is what's gonna remove the nitrates and phosphates for me. But I just thought I'd shoot a quick update. I'm going to clean the screen today. And give it a quick rinse with tap water and scrub it with a toothbrush. Slip it back in. I'm going to try and get my cleaning cycle to Sundays. So I had six days. I'll clean it today. Six more days. And then uh, when I clean it on Sunday. And then it'll be on a, a seven day cleaning cycle. I also have uh, an idea for an upflow algae scrubber that I might replace this with. I have to do some tweaks to this bar as well. As you can see, my spray bar is really thin and or small in diameter, so it's got a lot of head pressure. I'm getting great flow on this side. However, this side isn't getting as much flow, and you can see the bare spots all the way to the right there where the flow is and is, is good. So I'm hoping if I open up this groove on this side uh, about halfway down open up the, uh, the size of that it'll allow more flow and relieve some of that head pressure. So I'll do that while I'm cleaning it as well. I'll keep updating. Uh, right now my nitrates are 40 ppm but that's because I'm coming out of the cycle. Going to do about a 50% water change before I stock. And then we'll see uh, how well it controls. I have to get a phosphate test kit. Because I want to start testing my phosphates and nitrates from this point forward. Just to get a feel for how much this is pulling out of the system. And we'll see you next time.